All right, next few hours, we're going to be keeping our eyes on the thermostat because the temperatures will be warming up nicely for us. We will be tracking the 60s, turning into 70s, and today we're just going to halt at the 70s. We're not going to make it up to the 80s today, but tomorrow that will change. So for the next couple of hours, we will be able to enjoy full bright sunshine. And when you start the day with bright sunshine, you're able to enjoy it for most of the day, and that helps to give us that consistent warming that we've noticed notice throughout the morning. So 72 is where we are during that two and three o'clock hour, and then we're going to peak out at about 75. We'll get there during the early dinner time and during the afternoon commute, and then we'll start to take it down for you. We're at about 68 by the eight o'clock hour with your temperatures. They will be trending warmer as we head up to that 80 degree mark tomorrow. So give it another day before we get to enjoy that 80 degree temperature. We're pretty close to 80 for Thursday and Friday, and there's certainly a chance that a few of our areas in some of our southern communities may get right up to that 80 degree mark and you may hit 80 on some of your backyard thermometers. In terms of Saturday and Sunday, we're above 80. We're enjoying the low 80s as you head through your weekend. So yeah, go ahead and make some outdoor plans. I believe we're going to feel perfect weather for the upcoming weekend but we got to get there first. So for today, we're going to be about three degrees below the average temperature for this time of year. And then when we get to tomorrow, we're good. We're just about a degree or so above average. And then we're spot on for your Thursday and Friday as we track those upper seventies. But really when you're about three degrees or so within that average temperature, you're doing good. You're pretty much where the atmosphere should be for this time of year. And we get to really enjoy that for this entire stretch. You know, the temperatures are no more than about three degrees above or below the normal high temperature. So this is what we would call seasonable. In terms of your rain chances, will you get to water the grass on Wednesday? Probably not. Everyone will not get the opportunity to enjoy some rainfall Wednesday. It's not going to help us in the pollen department or anything like that. It will just be a couple of nuisance quick passing showers for your Wednesday, and then they'll be out of here. Back to dry weather, and it's an extended stretch of dry weather. We're talking dry to end the week and to head into the upcoming weekend. So let me give you a breakdown for your Wednesday. We will start the day with sunny skies. That's one of the reasons we'll be able to take it up to that 80 degree mark. We get the clouds building in probably right around lunchtime and just after and then the spotty showers materialize mainly right around the time that a lot of you are heading home five and six o'clock, maybe a quick little spritzer on the windshield and that's it. It's done. It's out of here by bedtime. So by 10 o'clock, I see one or two spotty showers, but most areas will still remain dry and the front will slice through after that, giving us really uniform temperatures, not really dropping the temperature, but almost just keeping us with a uniform set of temperatures because there's not a big difference between 79 and 80, right? So we'll see that from your Wednesday all the way through your Friday, and then we'll get a push of southern air coming in here for the weekend, and that'll help to usher us above those 80s for your Saturday and your Sunday, and then talk about a warm stretch next week. We'll be tracking highs in the middle and upper 80s.